people, it's me, Anya, my pronouns are she and her, and welcome back to my channel for a new video. I know I just made a video talking about new anticipated releases of 2022, but I figured to do another one because making these videos genuinely gives me something to look forward to, and that's what I need right now. So today's video is my most anticipated 2022 new releases that are specifically middle grade. And also, I have a video coming in January talking about my most anticipated 2022 new releases overall, but don't worry, that list will not have any repeats. So anyway, let's just get started. The first book on this list is called Call of the Crow. This book comes out the 1st of February, and this is the second book in the Skyborn trilogy, which I read in August, and that book is absolutely so, so, so good. So I'm so excited to read the sequel. I have very high expectations because Skyborn is so good. Jessica Corey, the author, is literally so, so talented, and her world building is literally so unique, and it's absolutely so inventive, and I'm so excited to read this book and see what happens next, to see, like, what these characters are up to, because Skyborn was literally so unique, and it's so underrated, so as a result, I am so excited for the sequel, and like I said, it comes out the 1st of February, so keep your eyes peeled. The next book on this list is called The Tarnished Garden. For those who don't know, this book is a middle grade historical fantasy sequel to The Gilded Girl, which I read last August, I'm pretty sure, or something like that, and it was so good. This book comes out the 5th of April, and I'm absolutely so excited. For those who don't know, historical fantasy is my favorite subgenre of fantasy, and fantasy is my favorite genre, and I'm just so excited to read this book. The Gilded Girl was absolutely so good good it was so inventive and absolutely so whimsical and so wholesome and absolutely so awesome so again i'm so excited to see what these characters will be up to next because i know this book is going to be so good and so awesome first of all this cover is so pretty i'm a sucker for pretty covers as we all are and this book sounds like it's going to be so good I have such high expectations because The Gilded Girl was so good, as I've mentioned several times, so I have very high expectations for this one, which I just said twice for emphasis, and this book sounds like it's going to be so whimsical and so awesome. So with that, like I said, this book comes out the 5th of April, and I'm absolutely so excited. The next book on this list also comes out the 5th of April, and it's called it's the end of the world and I'm in my bathing suit. This book is a middle grade contemporary and it's written by the same author who wrote The Opposite of Always and Early Departures, both of which are YA contemporaries. So this book, I believe, is his middle grade debut. And I'm so excited because his previous two books were both, like I said, YA contemporaries, but with a twist. So I'm excited to see him write in middle grade with a twist as well. This book sounds Sounds like it's going to be so good and so awesome and absolutely so thrilling and so unique. I'm so excited to read this book because I am looking forward to it so, so, so much. I love it when authors who previously write YA try out a new audience in middle grade or vice versa because I already know that their writing is so good and in this case that their world building and their twists are so unique. So like I mentioned, this book comes out the 5th of April and I'm absolutely so excited. The next book on this list is called The Prince of Nowhere. This book is a middle grade fantasy and it comes out the 3rd of May. And honestly, I have no idea what this book is about, except that it's middle grade fantasy, like I mentioned, and it's inspired by Howl's Moving Castle, which I've never seen or read, so I have no idea what that means. But I was personally intrigued by this title because I'm confused and intrigued by what the title means. Like, is nowhere a place, figuratively? Or is it a place literally, like in Guardians of the Galaxy? And the cover is so pretty, and it's absolutely so magical. And I know that if I saw this book in person at the library or something like that, I would definitely pick it up. I haven't read a physical book in so long, 
due to COVID and also because ebooks are so much more convenient. But I know that if I saw this book in person, I would definitely 100% pick it up. So when I clicked on this book on Goodreads and I kind of read the synopsis, I was so intrigued. But I didn't read the synopsis before filming this video and I probably should have. But anyway, I'm so excited to read this book on the 5th of May because it just looks like it's going to be absolutely so magical and so inventive and just so cool. So with that, I have very, very high expectations. The next book on this list is called The Language of Seabolds. This book is a middle grade queer contemporary and it comes out the 17th of May and I'm absolutely so excited for this book. First of all, I love reading queer middle grade books because since middle grade books are tailored for a younger audience, they tend to be more happy and more wholesome and more fluffy than YA books, obviously. So personally, I prefer reading fluffy queer books than hard-hitting queer books. I understand that both are timely and important, but that's just my personal preference. So I'm hoping that this book will be a fluffy, happy, wholesome queer book, and we love to see it. Also, the setting of this book kind of reminds me of the setting of Summer of Salt for some reason, since I think that this book is set at like a summer small town. I don't know. Maybe it's not, and I'm just making that up. But anyway, I'm so excited for this book because it sounds like it's going to be absolutely so good and so hopeful and tender, even aside from the queer representation that I'm looking forward to. This story just sounds like it's going to be absolutely so good. And the title itself is so intriguing because I'm intrigued by what the language of seabirds means. Again, is that literal or is that fickle shit? I'll find out the 17th of May and I'm so looking forward to this book because it sounds like it's going to be absolutely so good. The next book on this list is called Ariana Girl of Dragons. This book comes out the summer of 2022, which I'm personally assuming is going to be July or August because this book is written by the same author who wrote the Eva Evergreen duology. And those books, if I'm not mistaken, came out in August of 2020 and August of 2021. And usually when authors write new books, they usually come out within a year of their previous book. But anyway, I'm so excited to read this book because like I mentioned, Julie Abe, the author of the Eva Evergreen books, is so talented. The Eva Evergreen books are so good and so inventive. So when I knew that she was writing a new book that is not only set in the same universe, but is inspired by, I think, Japanese Cinderella, I was absolutely so excited. I would have picked up this book anyway, even if this book wasn't set in the same world as Eva Evergreen, because Julie Abe is such a talented author, and I'm also so excited for her YA debut of 2022. I think it's called The Charmed List or something like that. But anyway, I'm so excited for this book because I know it's going to be absolutely so good and so inventive and absolutely so awesome. So like I mentioned, this book comes out the summer of 2022, if I'm not mistaken, and I'm absolutely so excited because it sounds like it's going to be absolutely so good. And also it involves dragons. We love to see it. So anyway, I'm so excited for this book. So, in conclusion, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I love making videos about books that I'm looking forward to because having things that I'm looking forward to makes my day and it truly, honestly, makes me feel better and I needed that today, so I filmed this video. So, anyway, also, I love reading middle grade, so, yeah. If you enjoy this video, please don't hesitate to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below the squid emoji if you made it all the way to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.